Hi all. Ah, uh, just paying some bills, playing a little catch up on stuff. Uh, I did get a chance to take the drone out yesterday, very briefly, just to see uh, if the camera was still acting up like it did in the video I posted yesterday. And I got it up, and I noticed that it, I didn't really have control over it very well. And as I was bringing it down, it, it like was moving without me moving it uh, to my right. And almost flew into my home. <laughs> but I got it down safely, and I brought it in. Couldn't see it outside with the tablet, even with the overcast. This tablet is just horrible. I just can't, can't see the screen. I'm going to have to, that's a project. I'm going to have to do something about that. But anyways, uh, wasn't connecting and finally discovered that it needed an, up, uh, an update that was due, that was crucial. And apparently when the thing needs an update or gets a signal when you turn on this and that, that it's due for an update, I don't know how it works, but it'll just mess things up. <laughs> So I did the update, took it out, and flew fine. I'll put the little clip of my first flight here, just bring it down real quick. All right, that's, that's when I, I lost control over the thing. Then I took it up, messed with the camera, and it worked fine, and I'll put that here. All right, so I also, late yesterday, I got a, a little accessory for the drone, which I'll open that up now for you. Yeah, in a box. insert here and man it's got a lot of marks on it I think what this is I think this is a plastic coating or, or a protective deal that peels off because as if this is the actual thing it's got a lot of little rips in it I don't know what's more important is the inside Kind of cool. Now, 
Let's see how the drone fits in it. All right, let's see how this works. See if everything, get everything fit in here. Miles, I use my uh, <coughs> sleeping quarters. The light's a little bit better in here. And normally I can film okay in the living area, but there's no sunlight. You can see what I was talking about. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a protective coating for shipping and stuff. Very thin layer of plastic. I'll leave that on there. <clears throat> I do that with phones and everything else. All right, let's see how everything fits. down there pretty good camera compartment seems like it's up there a little bit though oh yeah it's I have a feeling it's supposed to go down a little bit further I'd imagine it goes down to where it's flush in there well maybe we'll try it the other. oh I see battery compartment deal it's got a little cut out here for it yeah, there we go. That's what I figured. <clears throat> nice and snug. This must be for batteries. Yeah, they probably go a certain way too. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, this is the tough thing. This is controller. It's tough to get even in the box. So what I figured out was I had to move this down to here, which when you're using it, it still will function okay. You need to bring this up here and then loosen this so that it's flexible. All right, now let's pack it away. Let's see how this is going to work. And then after doing that, you can put that down in there not hitting any of the switches or anything so it looks like it's fine to carry that way and then you basically have to bring this in here and force it down which means I'm gonna have to carry a little small Phillips head so I can make sure these are always tight enough so the tablet or whatever I have on it doesn't flop around this is actually designed to use your phone and I may end up trying that <clears throat> just for glare purposes. I'm sure I'll give that a try. Okay, let's move on. All right. I think this going to fit okay. Yeah. Let's put four spare ones down in there. This means we can take that out for now. Put the propellers we're currently using down in here. That looks like it's a nice fit. Don't think that's going to be a problem. Now, for traveling purposes, I guess you would want to bring your chargers. If I'm just out flying, I won't do that. Looks like this may be the space allocated for your chargers. Let's put that in here. I can tell it's going to fit okay. And we get the little one here. Looks like this will slide down in here. Got room for two more batteries. Let's see if these will fit here. Kind of like to bring in eyeglasses. You never know when you're going to need them. It looks like that's going to fit. Probably be able to put a little screwdriver in here too. Let's see if we got space for anything else. No? Not really. All right, let's put the quadcopter in here. We know the battery charger goes into this slot. Shut thing down in there. Got a little strap. Let's 
seems designed to hold everything pretty good. Shutter. Everything fits. Alright, made a little bit of adjustment to the straps. They feel okay. Uh, it's actually a pretty big case. Be interested to see how it fits on the bike. That'll be the next thing that we do if it ever stops raining. <laughs> Who knows? Alright. So I wanted to give you my initial opinion of the. Uh, Drone bag. Uh, weighs about nine pounds loaded, which isn't too uncomfortable carrying around. Felt pretty good after I did the straps. It's got some decent cushioning for your shoulder blades or back, uh, your shoulders and your lumbar, your lower back. Curious to see how it, how it feels riding on the bike with the back seat support, you know, supporting it up. I think it'll be fine. I have a little bit of a concern about the straps, and the sewing in them. Uh, I don't know. That's the only thing that I see that, that might wear a little bit. Zippers seem pretty good on it. The foam inside is adequate. As long as you're not too rough and everything, I think that'll hold up. The outside is firmer than what I initially thought. Seems pretty good. So. I think it'll be a pretty good bag, especially since it was free. <laughs> Before I left, uh, I noticed Amazon, and they may have had this for a while. It might be something they run all the time, but if you apply and get their Amazon Visa, uh, they give you 80, 80 bucks, $80 gift card. And by choice, I haven't had credit cards in a long time I just use my bank cards and and if I want something that costs a little bit I save up for it uh, with the way that I've got myself budgeted I have to have very limited installment loans uh, my little home here I think it's got I know it's under a year I don't know if it's 10 months but uh, that'll be gone when that's gone, I'm going to look into getting a, a new car. Uh, but anyways, that's the way I am. I keep any kind of installment type stuff, payment stuff to an absolute necessity minimum. That way I have a little bit of disposable cash to do things that I want to do with. And still stay within a certain budget. So, I went ahead and got this. Uh, the other things about that card is that there's no annual membership fee and you know as long as you pay if you use it which I'll use it very little mainly to keep it sort of active and it looks good on your bureau when you've got something and you pay it off and got it and pay it off and all that so I'll use it I'll probably mostly just at Amazon if I want something I'll let them use that as my default charge and then I'll pay it off as soon as I get the bill and then there'll be no interest so so anyways, not bad for free, $75. And um, there were less expensive, literally cheaper bags than that that I could have gotten. But the reviews on this bag were really good. Uh, as I said, I have a couple minor concerns and they could just be the way I initially feel about the bag. In the long run, it may be perfect. So I thought it was pretty good. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the great comments on, on, that I got from the trip and all that. I, I really, really enjoyed reading that you enjoyed some of this stuff. So be strong, be happy, be a good neighbor. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.